Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. I have missed you all so much. I feel like I haven't posted on YouTube in forever. I feel like I only missed two uploads. But yeah, I took an unintentional hiatus from YouTube and I just feel like I kind of needed it. I just had lots of different things going on, um, especially for like the flat renovations. We always have at least one workman in the flat and I hate filming when there's other people here. And then I went to New York. So yeah, we're here now and I feel like I had a good break and I'm like really excited to film because for a while I just, I don't know, I just didn't really fancy picking up the camera. But yeah, I woke up this morning ready to go. I really wanted to pick up the camera and chat to you guys because yeah you guys for me make the platform so amazing this week's video is going to be spend the week with me and uh, i'm going to take you guys along to everything i'm up to as you can see i'm sat in my new dressing room it feels so surreal every time i come in here like i'm still not over the fact that this is mine yeah i'm just still on cloud nine and yeah i feel like i've actually barely had any chance to properly use it like everything is still very neat and tidy because it's barely been touched. I will be filming the tour, I cannot wait to film it, but that will be my next video. So yeah, grab yourself a cup of tea, some biscuits, and enjoy the vlog. I was looking at a very boring Amazon order. I mean, I don't find this boring, so maybe you guys won't find this boring. Um, but yeah, little Amazon order. I picked up these, um, my tea bags. I've got so many tea bags in the cupboard and they're so messy. So I thought a little kind of organizer will do really well. And I feel like that's gonna fit about three boxes of tea. So also ordered this, which is to organize like your pots and pans and dishes and all of that kind of thing. And finally I ordered a folder because, oh my God, I've got a really exciting update to show you guys. I've had a cupboard built in my office and it's gonna store all of my beauty products, but also some like kind of boring documents and files and stuff. So I got this off Amazon, I have to say, it's actually, it's a little bit tacky, but um, she's cute, she's pink and she's cute. So I'm gonna use this for like all of those boring documents that you just don't wanna throw away. Um, and then at least it can be like categorized. It's got all of these different categories here. Put up a picture on screen with how it was before. It was basically just a blank space that had no use and it was just a bit awkward. This still needs painting, it's not gonna be brown, don't worry. But yeah, this is my little cupboard, it's so cute. I've got a Corsten um, knob on it to match my hardware in the rest of the apartment. Um, and yeah, I've got all of these shelves which go so far deep in. This actually needs a proper organizer. So when it's painted, I'm gonna film and organize with me because obviously right now everything's just kind of placed there a bit randomly. But yeah, it's just so great. I love having so much storage. And yeah, he made it in like a day. It's crazy. He just like whips things up. I'm really tempted to ask him to make me a new bunny. Um, kind of like litter tray hay area because I don't know, this one's nice. And I think it's as nice as it gets, but I kind of want something like concealed because all of this hay, I mean, it's just not, I mean, it's fine, but I just think it could be a bit prettier. So um, I've got an idea for what I want. I'm going to see if he'll make me like a little box, which looks like an ottoman almost. And it's got a hole like at the side here, they hop in and out. I'm a little bit embarrassed to ask him about that though. So I don't know if I will or not, but we'll see. And another really, really exciting update is my French doors are in. I am obsessed, I just think they look so lovely. So this is what goes into my office, which I just showed you. And um, yeah, again, I'll put up a little before of how it was looking, but I just think it's so much better. Now it's all finished and painted. But anyway, things are really coming together in the flat. I've got one more thing to show you actually. And yeah, I just feel like my vision's coming together, which is so nice, because for ages, it just looked like such a mess. And I just didn't ever see my vision coming together. Ignore my outfit. I feel like this um, outfit always makes me look like a Yeti. It's so like big and fluffy. You guys might remember I had a big Ikea Hovet mirror that has been with me for years and years and years. It's just the best mirror because it's so big. And I wanted to have a mirror put on this wall here. So I looked into getting one, like a custom sized one to fit the whole space. But then I thought, what if I dismantled my old Ikea mirror and stuck it to the wall and then put like this nice, um, like this nice like beading around it. So I asked my carpenter and he said he could do it. Yeah, again, he did such a good job. So this is my old Ikea mirror, repurposed into something new. A bit of a gloomy day, so it's a bit dark, but yeah, this is the rest of the hallway. Um, we've just got all of the coving around the top. We've got our new doors, everything like that. All I need now is to do this area here. So I need a new console table, but honestly, I'm finding it so hard to find one. Yeah, I just can't decide what I want. <laughs> um, but then once that's there, I can decorate it, make it look nice. And I'm putting like a big, like, I'm thinking like a nice colorful artwork piece here. 
And then yeah, this um, hallway is pretty much done. Some light fixtures as well, but um, but yeah, that is the update. How beautiful are these flowers that Bee's boyfriend got her? Like they're actually stunning. Um, but anyway, this is my little Amazon thingy. And here is a before, a very messy drawer. And are you ready for the after? And here is the after, much, much better. And this worked an absolute treat. <laughs> So this is looking much better. This is annoying me though. This kind of, I feel like this needs to be matching of that. But for now, it's a lot more organized. Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. I'm just driving to North London. It's about an hour's drive because it's really high, far north of London. I've got a really nice day today with the charity Smartworks. And I recently came across them and I just think they are such an incredible charity doing incredible things. So yeah, I wanted to see if there was anything I could do to support the charity. I will go into the details of the charity once I'm there. But in a nutshell, it's a charity to support women who are currently either um, unemployed or have um, zero income. And they work on things like interview techniques, what you wear to the interview, all of that kind of thing to get the clients um, back in the workplace and um, employed again. So I just think it's such a cool charity. They've got such an amazing success rate. And the fact that there's like this angle of like fashion and styling within the charity, it just felt like a really fitting charity to work with because obviously I love fashion and I love styling. So um, yeah, I'm just off to meet them today, to chat to them, meet the team, see how they operate on like a daily basis. Um, my camera just went flying, but yeah, meet the team, see what they're up to on a daily basis and um, and yeah, hopefully like initiate like a bit of a longer term partnership with them. That'd be so great. I filmed a get ready with me TikTok this morning, um, showing like my outfit and everything. It's so funny. Do you know what guys? I film so many videos I don't even upload because I don't know what it is recently, but I've almost like lost, not lost my confidence, but like, I don't know, I just make things and I'm like, no, it's not good enough. And then I don't upload them and it's like, and then I just end up not uploading things and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna force myself to upload this one. Um, so that'll be on my TikTok if you're interested, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I woke up, I did that straight away. And then, and then yeah, I went to my car, had a parking ticket, which wasn't a great start to the day. It's actually really annoying because the parking ticket guy comes at the same time every day. So I know when to um, like pay for parking and stuff like that. And today he was sneaky and he came, and he came early, so yeah. Anyway, I also was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't have time for breakfast, so I've just packed um, some like bars, stuff like that. I've also got myself um, some cream juice from the fridge. B and I did an, a big food shop yesterday, and I really learned my lesson not to do a food shop when one, I'm hungry, and two, due on my period, because oh my goodness, the amount of junk food we picked up was not okay. I'm all for junk food, but in very small doses, but we've got like a cupboard full of junk food now and it's obviously gonna get eaten. So yeah, anyway, I'm really rambling on now. So I'm going to uh, listen to a podcast and yeah, check in with you guys once I'm done. <laughs> all of the amazing rails yeah. that Smartworks have and they, it's honestly like a dream wardrobe they've got every single size every single style color you can imagine it's just incredible and it's so organized which is making my heart very happy but yeah right now we're just picking together some edits for their clients who have like job interviews or they're going into like a new workplace and um, it's honestly so much fun I'm having such a great time so this is our first rail and we've got lots of nice shirts and blazers, smart skirts. This is our no pile, but these are all the potentials. So this is the final selection. We've gone for like a bit of a capsule um, vibe. We've got this beautiful uh, striped shirt, a brilliant staple. It's really nice, simple, but expensive looking top from Reese. And um, yeah, all together, I just think she's gonna look amazing. 17 black trouser. Okay, and that is a 10. This is another um, bag for one of their clients. And it's got this beautiful bag and this Hermes scarf as well, which is just incredible. The amount of brands and um, even like luxurious brands they have here is wonderful. 
Okay, so there's a new client upstairs and we're just picking out some pieces for her. We've asked her what kind of things she likes and just going through the little maze of clothes. And first of all, we're gonna pick out a blouse for her and then maybe a blazer and some trousers. See that everything's sized and um, like sectioned. I think this one would look really nice on her. So I'm gonna pick up this one. <laughs> client and um, she was so so happy with the outfit we pulled together and um, straight away she was like yes and she said that she felt so much more confident and ready for her interview which is just amazing so okay so for the next client she liked the idea of dresses and skirts um she's a size kind of 16 to 14 to 18 so I picked up all of these pieces yeah we'll have her try them on and then work out what looks good what suits her and then um, go from there. Yeah, just got like bits and bobs up there and doing a quick. Um... I'm just driving home through London. I am so tiny. I had such a fun day at Smartworks. It was honestly just really interesting and um, like creative. I love putting outfits together for somebody who maybe wasn't my body type or they had completely different fashion sense. So it was just really nice and it was also really great seeing the women's uh, face like light up when they have that moment where they're like, I like this outfit. Because we would try on a couple and maybe the first wouldn't work and then the one and then they'd try one thing on and you could just tell that that was the outfit for them and they knew it and they just almost instantly became more confident. Some clients it was prep for interview outfits and then other clients were um, like building a bit of a capsule wardrobe for them once they had got the interview, got the job and were going into the workplace. Yeah, I just think they are such an incredible charity and um, and hopefully I can do lots more work with them now going forward. Anyway, my camera is flashing red at me. I need to now drive through London, which is always a little bit scary, um, but it's also really fun. I sometimes feel like I'm on a little tour bus going through London and seeing all of the sights. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll speak to you guys later. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I've just woken up. I am so puffy in the morning. Um, and yeah, this is how I'm currently looking, but um, I got up early because the weather at the moment is so weird, but it's supposed to be nice this morning and I want to get some um, outfit content um, for Instagram. Good morning, guys. I have been shooting. Uh, it's actually the afternoon now. It's 12 o'clock. I've been shooting since 10. Um, it's such a beautiful day, but oh my goodness, it is freezing and I was shooting like proper spring outfits today. So I can't lie, it wasn't very enjoyable. I have had such a creative vlog with outfits recently. Like I'll look on Pinterest and I'll see something really nice, but it just doesn't suit me. And I just had no idea. So what I did is I went and scrolled through my Instagram and basically recreated outfits that I knew that I loved in just like a slightly different way. And that made me feel so much better. I feel like I got my like mojo back now. But yeah. Anyway, Grace is with me today. She's just gone to grab some lunch and um, and then we're gonna just go back to the flat, I think, and just work from there. Good morning, guys. I've just got back from a very cold and wet walk along the river, but um, I just need to quickly get ready because I've got an event this morning. But yeah, how unmotivating is it to get dressed and like put a nice outfit on when it's not nice outside? We're gonna go for like, an all black number, definitely boots, because I don't wanna get any nice shoes. Um, wet in the rain. But yeah, I actually need to go like in 10 minutes. So I need to get ready. I am ready. Here's my outfit. I've got these naked uh, tailored leather trousers, naked boots, Burberry trench. Um, this is from Bash and my new little mini Chanel. By the way, the event I'm going to this morning is with Globe Trotter, who are like a luggage brand. And it's like a luxury luggage brand. They're so, so gorgeous. Yeah, I think it's just like canapes, cocktails, that kind of thing. And um, I mean, there's a few influencers who I know who are going, so I'm looking forward to catching up with them. I've changed and I'm going for dinner with Dee and Sarah. I'm just going to go to um, Battersea Power Station, so... And quite chill and cash. I've just got this mango blazer on and Abercrombie trousers. I found B. 
<laughs> and uh, we're just gonna look for a little place to have wine and then we're gonna meet Sarah in about an hour. From Battersea Power Station. Um, oh, okay. He's taking us around for a tour. I've only been to the Zara here twice, but the first time I wasn't really looking. It's actually the best Zara, like better than the Sloan Square one, and that's saying something because I love the Sloan Square one. No, this is the best Zara it's you've next level. ever been in in your life. It's so much like cleaner, they've got amazing store. So yeah, I didn't it's actually more, buy anything it's though. It's more of a concept store, like yeah. they show you that it's more like, it's just merchandise so well. So nice. Um, Oh, and also it's so quiet. I love shopping when it's quiet. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. That's always always quiet. Oh, really? I need to yeah. go there more often. No, it's definitely something they on that. Yeah. Just finished up dinner with Sarah. It was so nice. She's just bought a house, um, not a house, a flat, and she's uh, renovating it. So we were exchanging tips. Um, oh, she's so cute. oh, we love Sarah. She's the best. We love Sarah. So yeah, we're gonna walk home now. And it's very cold though. It's freezing. I need a blazer. Forget the pace. Good afternoon, guys. It is. I think it's like four o'clock. We're quite late in the afternoon, and I'm only just getting around to doing my makeup. I woke up this morning just feeling a little bit sad for no reason. So I've taken today really slowly. I did some work, I edited, I did some admin, and just treated myself to a lot of cups of teas, some of my favourite snacks, and I'm feeling a lot better now. But yeah, I thought I'd just do my makeup really minimally and just put on something because I might go out for dinner later so I just want to like make myself a little bit more ready so I thought I'd show you guys the minimal makeup that I like to do um this serum from Typology is so good it's actually found well it's kind of foundation but it says serum tinted serum light coverage natural finished and it's enriched with vitamin c and aloe vera I love it so 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 much it gives just the right amount of coverage and you can't even see when it's on your skin and I just love it when makeup and skincare like collide and you get two in one so yeah I pretty much wear this every day in the evenings I'll wear something a little bit heavier but I absolutely love it now for my brows they need to get done so badly when my eyebrows are outgrown and they haven't been done for a while they're just so like they're just a weird shape like this one is like heavier than this one um I just don't I don't vibe with them so and I could draw them in quickly I obviously had them microbladed a few years ago and honestly that was brilliant and there is still some remnants of the blades. I don't think I'm going to do it again because one, the pain is like no other. It's basically getting a tattoo on your face and it's just like getting your eyebrows threaded times a million. And two, I've heard it can like damage the collagen in your face permanently i don't know how true this is but um yeah it's not really something i want to risk so i've been getting henna brows instead and i absolutely love henna brows they last for like four or five weeks i'm gonna pop on a tiny bit of concealer this is a laura mercier uh flawless flu flawless fusion flawless fusion get rid of any dark circles bronzer is nude sticks Bondi Bay. Sometimes I use this without any foundation, just on its own, and it's bloody brilliant. Okay, a little bit of mascara, Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye, just in the corners. Had a lash lift before I went to New York, and the girl who does my lashes is just, she's just the best. Her name is Emmy Creates on um, Instagram, and I'll put her Instagram in the description as well down below. But yeah, I've been in London now for like five, nearly six years, and I've had many lash lifts and she is by far the best. I stopped using my lash serum and I went and switched to another one and since my eyelashes have not been that great, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I do miss it when they were really long and amazing when I was using X Lash. Um, so yeah, they're a bit of a work in progress right now. I'm gonna use this little pink in my Hourglass palette, give myself a bit of life. Lip liner is still in here, yes. Okay. Fully converted to the Charlotte Tilbury natural what's this called oh iconic nude first time i tried it i didn't like it because it's very pigmented but if you overline your lips it doesn't look unnatural like, look at the difference so good and then i'm going to use my typology um 
lip balm. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And then I'm going to finish with my Aurelia face mist. I think they discontinued this, which is really sad. But I love it, it's very refreshing. And it just kind of like melts your makeup all together and makes it look like you haven't just put it on. Because yeah, I always like my makeup and it's been sat on my face for at least a few hours. It just looks a lot more natural and just prettier. Here's how my cupboard is looking now, it's all painted. So yeah, I'm gonna start filling up all of the shelves. really bright in here I've done most of my hair bits and basically this cupboard is for things I don't use every day or like brand new things that I want to try or just like things that I like to keep stock of because there's nothing worse than when you run out of your favorite shampoo I'm just going on to perfumes now and I've just rediscovered this one which is Eau de Nil by Penhaligans and this was my first ever gifted um, perfume and oh my god it just brings back so many memories and it's such a shame because they've discontinued this. But yeah, that's like such a wonderful thing about perfumes, how it just brings back like a moment in time. So I have these plastic little like shelves and I thought they would be quite good for displaying perfumes right at the back so I don't forget about them. I'm definitely a hoarder when it comes to perfumes as well. I have quite a lot, which isn't necessary, but I can't bring myself to get rid of any of them. Um, saying that actually, I have got, I think about three, that I've put aside to give to one of you guys, um, or three of you guys even. Um, so I have whittled it down a tiny bit, but even so, there's a lot. I also really love the Zara perfumes. This one is Ebony Wood, and I don't want to gatekeep it, gatekeep it, gatekeep it any longer because it's such a beautiful smell. I also have another Zara one. Where is it? I can't find the lid to it, but it's Tuberose, Tuberose Noir, and this. It has that kind of like penhaligans y type feel. It's quite deep and a little bit masculine and a little bit oody. I really love this one. Tom Ford Eau de Soleil. This is like my summer holiday perfume. Absolutely love it. It smells like being on holiday. Sunset Riot by All Saints. This is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge, um, but like about a sixth of the price. Another Tom Ford. This one is Rose Prick and it's a really deep oody rose so so nice you could probably wear this in the day but this is more of an evening perfume for me another two faves from ben Halligan's. this one's cairo which is vanilla oud really really nice but it's very strong so you only need a tiny bit and this is definitely an evening one for me and then luna is kind of like my everyday one because it's really light and fresh and it's just like a happy smell two from jo malone this one is scarlet poppy which is a really unique smell Oh, I love it. It's really, um, I'd say this is a little bit more mature. It's quite musty. No, musky, not musty. Um, but I just really, really love it. And then I've got this one, which is rose water and vanilla. I think this one is limited edition and it's very sweet. And I don't normally like sweet perfumes, but it's just very nice and fresh. Charlotte Tilbury, I've had this one for years. I just, to be honest, I love the bottle. The smell is also nice. But for some reason, the smell always makes me feel a little bit sick when I'm wearing it. When I smell it now, it smells lovely, but I think there must be some sort of thing in it that just doesn't agree with me. But I can't get myself to get rid of it because I just love the bottle, it's so pretty. And then I've got a Laura Mercier Almond Coconut. I actually don't wear this one very often, but it's kind of the thing that's just nice to wear, like even if you're just at home, because it's quite light. Um, and it just smells like being clean, fresh out of the bath. Oh, one more. We have this one from Graf, which is really cool because it's in the shape of an emerald cut diamond. This one I really, really rarely use. I think this is a more of an evening one, but I need to remember I have this. My most prized possessions, which has actually been chewed a little bit by the bunnies, which is kind of annoying. But um, this was a book, I think my mum got me this for my, maybe my 21st, 22nd birthday. And this is me on the front, and it's just like a book of memories from my childhood. Once a horse girl, always a horse girl, me in the bath. 
me rollerblading. I used to rollerblade in um, my attic back at home. Oh my god, guys. This here was my little hedgehog. You rescued a hedgehog. I um, don't know how old, maybe I was like 10. I begged my parents for us to keep it and his name was Twiggy. Um, more horse riding, holding a goat. My beloved Alfie. Anyway, lots of happy memories in this book. So, um, one of my favourite things I own. And if the house was burning down, which it never will, touch wood, this is what I would take with me. A really random thing I own is ultrasound gel. And you may be wondering why I own this. And the reason is because I use this for my face gym. This works really well with the device. So yeah, I've got ultrasound gel. But this random little box, which I just keep all my teeth bits and bobs in, like my whitening, um, what are these? These are the Philips Zoom, which I got from my dentist. But to be honest, I do prefer just normal whitening strips. These are the um, Spotlight Rural Care ones and they work so well. I do prefer these. Their heads, those kind of things. By the way guys, I could not do a beauty clear out or organise without giving some to you guys. I obviously mentioned the perfumes earlier, but I'm going to put together like three really nice big bundles of anything I've got duplicates of, anything I don't think I'm going to use, and send them to you guys. Also, if any of you have any um, beauty products that you don't need, I um, will link Smartworks down below because they accept like brand new beauty products to put in like as gifts for their um, clients. So I'll be donating some to them as well. But um, yeah, if you want to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment down below if you get the Instagram handle so I know how to contact you and I will select somebody at random. Moving on, I've got these two clear bags. These are all of my minis. So whenever I go on holiday, I have a little rummage through here and kind of like take the mini bits that I need. And these are all of my mini perfumes, so same thing again. So I think I'm going to pop these on the top shelves because I obviously don't need to use these very often. And my cupboard is all done. So I've got um, like body bits and dental bits here skincare here, hair care here, I've obviously got an abundance of. Perfume, this shelf, not sure what to do with yet. And all of my travel bits up here. I actually would rather put a lot of this in my bathroom, but I currently don't have much storage in there and we'll be getting it built. So things may get switched around kind of like down the line, but it's good that I've got one extra shelf because I always need extra storage somehow. And yeah, here's what my little corner is now looking like. Really want to switch out that light switch for something else, but, but that can be phase two of the office reno. And for some reality, here is how the rest of the room is looking. Very unorganized. Got lots of bits and bobs on the floor that I need to sort through. I also need to buy a new desk. I want something a little bit bigger and longer, so it kind of goes to about here. Um, and that will be like my desk slash vanity. So now my task is to tidy this all up. Oh, you're so cute. Hello my loves, happy Sunday. It's upload day, I'm really excited to upload this vlog so I can chat to you all in the comments. I've actually spent the day with my mum, it was so lovely. We went to the Crown to Couture exhibition in um, Kensington, uh, Kensington Palace even, and it's so, so good. So if you're in London, definitely go see it because it's got like loads of really old dresses and um, an occasion where mixed in with like really new ones from like the Met Gala and the Brits, all of that kind of thing. So for example, Kendall Jenner's iconic dress that she wore in 2021, the Audrey Hepburn inspired one that was there. It was just so good. So yeah, I want to edit this vlog and then I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to end it here. I love you all so, so, so much. I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you next time. Bye.